I'm, I'm pretty much okay with uh, everything that I am, you know, I'm, I'm a dropout junkie that can write a song, you know, and that's kind of, uh, that's alright with me. So, you know, I was like a, you know, power chord kid when I was young, like 11, 11 and 12 and 13, and um, the first finger picking I encountered was, uh, was lead belt. And he had this really, he was able to keep a pattern and, and able to pick out these notes at the same time. And I found that really fascinating because coming from punk rock, the only thing that I'd ever heard were just guys just, you know, just grinding the shit out of their guitars. Like even the dark songs had this really beautiful kind of thing. It just had this kind of rolling, roll, these rolling line, bass lines mixed with these kind of high, you know, high harmony parts that were just kind of, it was, it kind of, it kind of hit me like the same thing as like a choir, you know, singing. It just gave more element and more, it, it just showed what a guitar could do a little bit more to me than, than a flat pick did. Yeah, you can back my guitar down just a touch. The, the initial idea of the song and the title come from the Basketball Diaries where he talks about boys in Brooklyn, um, you know, tested their nuts by playing chicken, driving cars, high speeds toward each other to see who would turn first. He says, but Manhattan boys tested their nuts by jumping off the cliffs into the, into the hall of weather. Um, and he states it as being one of the nastiest bodies of water in the eastern seaboard. has a celebratory kind of uh, thing about it and and, uh, and I did that because of, you know, of, I've actually had because of my you know problems with drugs I hang out with a lot of junkies and a lot of people with a lot of problems and you know and, and, and I've known a few people actually who've taken their own lives and, and one of them I knew actually pretty well and, and I talked to him about a day before it and it was just he he had just kind of settled into this this you know this is what that's what he was gonna do you know, he decided that that's what, we, what he was going to do, and um, and there was nothing I knew, you know, from the, the way that he talked about it and the way that he looked, is that, you know, there was absolutely nothing anybody was going to do about it. You know, he'd made this decision, and he actually, at that time, was the happiest I'd seen him in eight years. You know, it just seemed like a million pounds had been lifted off of his shoulders, and he could walk again. You know? It's like because he knew it was, you know, he had it, he picked a time and it was going to be, and it was going to be everywhere. And he did it.